Hi, this is Jeff Curto, and welcome to episode number 105 of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography. Always stay ready so you never have to get ready. Always stay ready so you never have to get ready. Constantin Brancusi. Brancusi, a great sculptor of the modernist era, began working, oh, in the early part of the 20th century, right around the turn of the century, and continued to produce amazing and beautiful artwork. I'll I'll link a few of his uh, places where you can see some of his sculptural work um, on both the Camera Position blog page and also in the Camera Position app, which, by the way, is now available for the Android platform. So search for uh, Camera Position uh, on uh, on the Android store, the App Store. Uh, but getting back to this idea of of staying ready, always stay ready, so you never have to get ready. I remember first seeing this uh, phrase scrawled in paint across the uh, wall of the sculpture studio where I worked when I was an undergraduate at Illinois Wesleyan University way back when, and I'm sure it was scrawled there by my great teacher, Ed McCullough, a terrific artist in his own right and still out there making artwork. I'll, I'll link you to, uh, link you to uh, Ed's website as well. Um, but that whole idea of always stay ready so you never have to get ready, and, you know, I think Brancusi was talking perhaps about a couple of different things. He was certainly talking about equipment and materials and making sure that we were all organized, you know, that he was organized, that he was ready to go at a moment's notice when inspiration struck him. And I guess for photographers, that means making sure your lenses are clean and your cameras are in a place where you can locate them and uh, are put away in an orderly fashion so that you can get them out whenever you want to and that the batteries are charged. <laughs> well, now that we have cameras that have to have batteries so you can work them, I still really love my, you know, my Hasselblad and my, my view camera because they don't need any, don't need any damn batteries for those cameras. They work just fine without batteries. But still, obviously, we have uh, turned a corner on equipment and technology where we have to have things ready to go uh, in terms of, uh, you know, charged batteries and and uh, empty camera capture cards and so forth and so on, or, or even, uh, you know, film that hasn't been photographed on. But so being ready to go, being ready at a moment's notice to be able to grab the camera and make that photograph when you uh, want to make the photograph. And I suppose Brancusi is at least in part talking about that idea, talking about the, the idea of being ready with materials and with equipment. But I think he's also talking about always staying ready so you never have to get ready in terms of being, you know, sort of uh, fleet of foot, fleet of foot when you're able to get right to the creative act without having to sort of uh, sit and hem and haw for a while before you get to that process where you can, or place where you can go in and, and begin to make those pictures that you want to make. And I think that gets back to some of the things that I've talked about before about practicing your craft, uh, practicing what it is that you do, not only knowing about your equipment, but being able to think through the process of making a photograph, think through the process of what it is that you do when you begin to create. And again, that process is different depending on whether you're a street photographer out there reacting at a moment's notice, or whether you're a more contemplative studio-based photographer, or whether you cross over between the two and need to approach those two different strategies or two different ideas of photography with a different mindset each time. So always stay ready so you never have to get ready. Constantin Brancusi, the great artist that talked about both the, the technical side of keeping his equipment ready to go and his chisels sharp and uh, all of his tools and materials ready to go, but I think also talking about the emotional aspect of being ready to be creative, being able to sort of put yourself into that mindset when, uh, when you are able to uh, find that time to be creative, to put yourself into that mindset uh, as quickly as possible so you can be efficient with that idea of being creative. So always stay ready so you never have to get ready. So thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography.